Hey everyone, this is uh, Dave, Dr. Shock Becker, and I um, was thinking of ideas for videos and I came up with one. Years ago, probably about, I guess going on 13, 14 years ago, I had started collecting movie posters. And I got a bunch of them, I'm talking hundreds of movie posters. And I had uh, the tubes, you know, I had them all in these, these tubes here. I had a system, each tube was either lettered or numbered, and I had a spreadsheet telling me what was in every tube. That spreadsheet is gone. I mean, that was on my old computer. I thought I transferred it over to my laptop. I did not. So now I've got all these posters in all these tubes, and I don't know what they are. Uh, so I figured, why don't we, you know, I have to take these out of the tube anyway. Why not make a video showing you the various posters that I purchased? Um, I don't know what they are. Some of them are double-sided. Some of them are not. Some of them I just bought in, like, uh, stores. Some of them I got from this one site that sold these theater-quality posters. And again, I don't know what the movies are. I was just buying posters, and then I, I know some of them. Like, I know Fred Claus is one of them that I bought. I have no idea why. Um... But it's going back, like I said, back about 13, 14 years. So there's 31 of these tubes. I'm just going to do two of them right now. And then in the weeks to come, I'll do the rest of them. And we'll look at those posters. Um, I got two here. This is the heavier of the two. So why don't we save that one? We'll do this one first. Uh... Either O or Q. I'm not sure. I think it's an O. I don't think I got up as high as Q in the alphabet um, for these because I had different numbering. Some of them I did like 2007-1, 2007-2, things like that. Uh, but anyway, see what's in this one. This tube was sent to me. What's the date on this? Is there a date? Oh, there is. July 30th, 2007. So almost 13 years ago. Anyway, let's take the posters out. Is that all of them? No, there's still more. Oh, jeez. Hold on. All right. Okay, well, this I can tell one is not double-sided right off the bat. We'll start with that one. Uh, oh! Gangs of New York. Nice. All right, I got I, I saw this movie when it first came out. Actually, my father and I both saw this movie when it first came out. Um, it's not one of uh, you know what I do. I like it a lot. I really do. I, I love this movie. Um, you know, it's Scorsese. It was a dream project of his for a lot of years, but um, it's a lot. There's a lot jammed into the film, and I don't even know that I rank it in his top five movies. I do really love it though, and I recommend seeing it if you haven't. Gangs of New York. All right, that's a good one. Ah, I got the poster for that, too. Nice. Okay, next. Uh, these are just wrapped all together here. So, what the heck? I don't know what it say. Walt Disney's The Wild. I have no idea. I've never seen this movie. Um, it's a double-sided, too, so it's a theater quality... Yeah, I, I don't, I have nothing, I have nothing on that one. Uh, next, oh, this one I think I know what it is. Yeah, Dreamgirls, I did see this one in the theater, I did enjoy it, it's a musical. Um, Jamie Foxx, Beyonce Knowles, Eddie Murphy, I know was nominated for an Oscar, someone won an Oscar for this, who was it? Where's the cast here? Why can't I remember? Um, I can't. I can't see. I don't know who it was. Oh, Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson, I'm pretty sure, won an Oscar for her performance in, uh, in Dream Girls. Is that all? There's only three of them in there? Oh, no, there is another one. Hold on. One more in here. Jeez. All right, 
it's not a double sided. Um, oh, another uh, Scorsese movie, The Aviator. Another good, another good movie. Um, and uh, another one I remember, I saw this one in the theater. Um, some great performances in this one. Uh, yeah, this is, if you, again, if you haven't seen this one, well worth seeing The Aviator. Uh, about uh, Howard Hughes. Leonardo DiCaprio plays Howard Hughes. It's about like his life and, and, the, and making movies and uh, in aviation. Okay, so that, that one's down. This one's a little bit bigger. This is the either G. I'm thinking it's G because I guess that's an uppercase G and a lowercase G just in case I confused myself. This tube was sent to me, and that doesn't mean anything. I mean, I mixed all these together. It's just, you know, it doesn't mean I got all these at the same time. Um, but this tube is from January, January 26, 2007, almost 13 years ago exactly. All right, I'm just gonna take these out little by little. First one up is, oh, Unleashed. This is a good one. Uh, Jet Li, I'm pretty sure, isn't this a um, Luc Besson? Yes, directed by, uh, written by Luc Besson, directed by Louis, Louis Leterrier. Um, this is a really good movie. Jet Li plays uh, basically like a weapon, and Bob Hoskins is... Uh, uh, in the uh, is sort of a criminal under, uh, I guess a crime boss, and he uses Jet Li as a weapon against his enemies. I think Bob Hoskins is a crime. I haven't seen this one in a while. I did see this one in the theater, though, and I really liked it. So uh, this is another one. Some great action, great action scenes in this movie, as I remember. Well worth checking out. Uh, i got to keep these separate, because I do want to log these when I'm done. Only in theater. Oh, nice. Is this double-sided? Yes, it is. Children of men. In 20 years, women are infertile. No children, no future, no hope. But all that can change in a heartbeat. This was one of my favorite movies the year it came out. And I think this was a really good year. Because I'm pretty sure children... Um, well, children of men. But I'm pretty sure Pan's Labyrinth came out this year as well. This is just... This is amazing. This is an amazing movie. Um, from the director of Itumama Tambien and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh, jeez, of course the name is escaping me now, but it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant and um, well worth checking out. It's a little bleak, but uh, just a great movie. All right, moving right along. Oh, the New World. This is a Terrence Terrence Malick. Terrence Malick. Um, I don't remember. I know I've seen this movie. It's double sided. Yes, it is. I know I've seen this movie. Um, I remember really liking this. I think it takes place as sort of the was it Pocahontas and John Smith. Um, you know, sort of the discovery of the New World. Uh, Terrence Malick, I haven't seen a Terrence Malick movie I, that I didn't like, to be honest with you. And I did enjoy The New World. I know a lot of people thought it was, it was too dry, it was too slow. But I liked it. Um, but I, it's been a long time since I've seen it. Again, it was a theater. I saw this one in the theater when it first came out. And I did enjoy it. Well, let's see what else we got. And there's still one or two more in there after this one. Robert De Niro. Ooh, taxi driver. Wow, look at that. I don't. Re wow. I don't even remember buying this one. Film review. And that's an that's a I re that's an awesome picture on the front of that there. Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese's Cannes Festival Prize winner, prize winner, a technically brilliant story of an alienated young insomniac who takes a job as a night taxi driver in the seamier parts of New York. 
Uh, there's a lot more there, but I don't want, I won't go too into it. That's, that's awesome. I don't even know where I got this. This is great. Nice one. That's it. All right, last one. Only five in that one. Ah, I know what this is already. Fargo. Not double sided, but a nice. That's a homespun murder story. Fargo. I watched this again recently. I think I watched this on New Year's Day, and wow. One of my 10 favorite movies of all time. My favorite Coen Brothers film. Um, it's just, it's awesome. I mean, um, a guy hires these two thugs to kidnap his wife so that he can get a million dollars from his father, his rich father-in-law, who's not really willing to share the money with him. And um, in, in comes uh, the police chief, played by Frances McDormand, who with her sort of Minnesota nice accent, oh, you betcha, would be a comedy relief in any other movie, but in this movie, she's really the smartest person on screen. She, she's able to figure out the crime, um, but it takes even her getting a little embarrassed at one point for her to finally approach it differently, and the case is cracked. Uh, just a great movie. Some great performances in this. It's a classic, one of the all-time great films, in my opinion. So, uh, is that four of the Is that all of them? Let me just make sure there's none. Well, I know there's none fixed in there. Yeah, that's all of them. All right. Um, like I said, each week I'll grab a couple more tubes. We'll empty them out and see what's in there. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like like the video, if you if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel, and um, check me out on Horror Movie Podcast, HorrorMovieCast.com. Land of the Creeps podcast, which is landofthecreeps.blogspot.com, and uh, my blog, DVD Infatuation, dvdinfatuation.com. All right, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.